This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello. Welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me. It's CGB. We're going to play the deck that won the Kaldheim Championship. Uh... Certainly one of my favorites, and yours. It's Rogues! Rogues won the Kaldheim Championship! I'm fine. This is fine. You know what? I... I, I don't think I can do this. But I know someone who can. Oh, hell yeah. What's up, wimps? You know, it's been a long time, but the master just couldn't keep the tiger in the cage forever. It's me, it's Evil CGB, Covert Go Heal, and you haven't seen me in a while. If you're new around here, I play the decks you hate, and I laugh at you while I play them. And today, my new personal hero has emerged. Arnie Huschenbeck won the Kaldheim Championship with a deck that makes literally no friends and causes literally endless rage quits. That's right, it's rogues. Kaldheim cards? Nah, we don't need to play Kaldheim cards in the Kaldheim Championship. We're not buying into your little marketing scheme, wizards. We're just going to run the broken OP stuff you printed last year. There is a sideboard. There are three copies of the Great Crippling Fear. Because nothing is better when you're playing rogues than also instilling crippling fear in your opponent. Let's have a look at Arnie. Arnie Arnie is a character study all his own. Look at that face. Look at that smile. From now on, when you picture, when you get drowned in the locked for the third time in a row out of like the top 12 cards of your opponent's library, I want you to look and I want you to remember that face. Picture that face. That's the guy who's doing it to you. That face or this face. One of the two. Oh, I bet that'll rub the salt in just a little bit deeper. I, I've, I've got a clip here. I absolutely have. I got to play this clip, man. I've got to play this clip. Because if I don't play this clip, what am I doing? What am I actually doing? Let's mute these game sounds. Let's turn up the Twitch. This is from the middle like of day two. This is before he won the championship. This is before he made top eight. This is this is the ultimate Chad running the ultimate Chad pile you right here. You feel confident about your, uh, your deck choice? Uh, I definitely think that currently with standard, I'm like definitely the best choice. Like in this field, I looked at all the other people that were high on the rankings and nobody was playing Monorad. So, well, I'm just going to farm them all with, with, with Rogues. <laughs> and Auras... I'm just going to farm them all with rogues. I love it. Oh, yeah. Let's freaking go. What more can I say about it? The deck, you know the deck. I hear that. Okay. The, the covert go blue. The, the nice, the try to be nice guy. He wants, he wants me to do the dedication thingy. So this goes to some loser wimp member who joined the channel and thinks that they're cool and somehow will get Sensei's attention. Visu, I, I, you know what I'm getting you? You know what you get? You know what you get from the one and best of one? You get a soaring thought thief. In your honor. Congratulations. Not sure how you actually feel about that, but... That's why I'm pushing the buttons today, baby. Let's dive in. Let this championship nonsense... Oh, and by the way, let's back out of that really quick. The dude destroyed the top eight. 
massacred it. Came in number one and just like just slaughtered everything. Okay, he didn't start like rank number one for the day, but like like the finals was supposed to be best of three matches. Best of three matches. As in the potential for five like 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 a million games of magic. And he just 4-0'd it. He won the first match 2-0, he won the second match 2-0. Not close. Who did he beat? He beat Gregor's Kowalski running the deck that I featured yesterday. Or that, you know, the other guy featured yesterday. The uh the Saltai Ultimatum pile from the world champion, Paulo Vito Damodorosa, run by Gregor's Kowalski in the top eight. <laughs> Couldn't take a game. Absolutely destroyed it. When he said farm them with rogues, this is a guy who means what he says, says what he does. And I respect that. So let's get on this ladder. Let's farm them with rogues. Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. Lulus. We're fighting Lulus. Well, on the play, broken hand. Magic is freaking easy. Let's go. I don't know. The, the, the thought thief might be delayed by the tap lands. It doesn't really matter, though. It You just... You just mill them a bit, and you shove them into a story, and you're good. You're just good. Here's a deck that didn't show up much at the, the event, Mono White. Mostly didn't make an appearance. What am I scrying for? That, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. We'll draw it anyway. Let's start filling that graveyard. I mean, that's a sweet two draws in a row. Eliminate Drown in the Lock. That's, that's sick. No Luminarch Aspirant from the opponent. That's pretty rough for him. Get it? Rough. Savior. Look, if you're here for the jokes, you can leave now. These will not be... You will not enjoy this. You will not enjoy these jokes. Our opponent played the sword of something or other. It doesn't matter. If they spend time equipping it, they just lose the game on the spot. Where are we at? Four cards. So attack with both of these gets it to seven next turn. That casts the story card. The story card just says, I have more cards than you, so I win, you lose. What the heck is this? It's fine. Literally doesn't matter. Just literally doesn't matter. Like, oh, well, I sack my dog. Yeah, yeah, how about this? Eh? How about that? Doesn't matter. That's why Rogues is the freaking champ. Literally batting a million percent here. So go ahead, play some card. Maybe next turn you'll equip it with your sword. By then, I'll have drawn 50 billion cards. I'll have just... I'll, I'll counter anything cool you even attempt. Like that. That would have been really good on turn two. On turn four, they're a bit too far behind. Smash. Smash, smash, smash. See if they can put any kind of pressure on us. Like maybe there's a Sky Mall we have to counter. Need a minute to think, do ya? Look, Rogues is the only deck that gets to think about their decisions, because all of them are extremely complicated. It's moments like this where you need every single time out to think about, geez, what am I gonna do? What am I actually gonna, I know. Huh, I guess I'll just counter that card you desperately needed. That's how you be the. Tr that's how you're the true alpha around here. Let's see our new cards, shall we?
Uh, guys, something's wrong with my shuffler. I, I was told there would be cards here. I, I was told I was going to draw some some cards. These these are not cards. This is actual crap. Like, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, oops. <laughs> Two sky malls down. And I guess we still have a game. Rot row. Rot row. Oh, it's getting real. It's getting real. All right, down to 12. Who cares? It's fine. This is fine. Um, hmm. A few ways we could do it. I guess it's just playing this threatens lethal, right? And we're at 12, so... They do have three spells in hand, and they're not bad ones. Oh, well, they might be bad ones, but the last two that they've sequenced and they haven't hit a land drop means that they're pretty good. But they can't put... I don't think they can put lethal pressure on me. Even playing a Halvar won't do it. Hello. I am attacking you with my wind robber. I do think that another... Another Skyclave would be rough. Very rough. But right now we're threatening lethal in the air. Easy. Were any of you complaining about the volume being too loud? I bet you did. Well, we identified all the grandpas in the audience by their comments. Go ahead. Go poke at them. Poke at them in the chat. We also forgot about the best thing about being me. Liberal use of emotes. That's right. That's right. I'm not hardy. I I'm not holding back. Yeah, shrug. Yeah. You, you love me? I don't know if you're going to love me after this. But this time it's mono white on the play. And their hand, like our hand, is not as absolutely dominant as the last one. And Mono White can be a tough matchup when they get the Hollow Blade going, so their draw is already perfect for the battle. Probably some humble pie coming my way. The tricky thing about that is, it's still never gonna make me humble. All right, what do we do next? Wonder if I'm supposed to try to block something with the Enforcer. The opponent is declaring an attack. I think I want to save the Enforcer and use one of these spells, so let's start doing this. Our objective is to make them discard their entire hand. Miss land drop or hit land drop? Double hollow blade. <laughs> I see. So what can't hollow blade really beat? The Lurus, right? So maybe I have to take this hit and go for like Lurus Enforcer in the future. Oh, this is gonna get nasty. Like if I just play it next turn, I get nothing from it. So maybe next turn we buy it. Third land. No hollow blade. No, no hollow blade. Sorry. Sky ball. Get some cards in that graveyard. Keep it coming. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? One down.
Well, what else are you going to do? They end up with a ton of cards in the graveyard. Like, this is oddball milling, right? We're making them discard one by one. It's actually building up their graveyard. And they do discard in Skyclave app. And they play a post-combat mall. All right, that's fine. Like, we can make them tap that again. This doesn't have three toughness, though. Hmm. What to do? What to do? The bounty is annoying as well. Maybe we try to ambush the bounty this turn. But they're kind of in a weird lock where they can't really play things. Let's see if I take five this turn. Okay. And we can counter a Skyclave Apparition, which I think is their other card. So they'll try to Skyclave this. And then we get a turn where hopefully we'll draw a playable. Ah, oh, they're not going to do that. Okay. Ooh, what if we target... No, nah, don't target it now. We still end up taking the damage. So I really want something for one or two mana for the turn when I buy Luris as well. Unless they do nothing here, in which case I get to save the Drown to tap them next turn. That's fine, too. Uh, that's annoying. That is annoying. That's not great. Oh, that is... <laughs> that, it, that ain't it. But let's grab you. Play you. This is supposed to get black, though. Oh, that's that's kind of a that's kind of an oops. You want to rumble? Just you? Let's save the life total. Don't want to get punked out by an Al Seed. Alright, please don't make me use this. Please don't punish me for playing the Passage instead of something else. No, not that card! Alright, fine. They're down to nothing, though. Man, if I could have disputed that instead, it would have been nice. But that's not the way the cookie crumbled, is it? But they are down to nothing. All right, I think we take the hit in the air and we're dead to a Corval, but we get this out so that the Faceless Haven gets blocked. I think that's the line. But these islands are really killing me. Sentinel's eyes! Rip me. That sucks. We hit their escape card. How did I do... What did I do so wrong? And they pull an Aspirin off the top. Okay. We're dealing with a superior life form. This is the greatest mono white player in the history of the world. I wonder if they're going to prevent Luris from gaining life here. They don't they certainly don't need to. Oh wait, they can just block it. Never mind. Not the greatest. If I attack with you, what happens? Nothing good. We can remove this, though, if we draw a removal spell. But the Mystical Dispute, like, we know they're going to top deck like Alcide, right? And the Mystical Dispute keeps us alive. So let's get something out of this dispute first. Okay. Hmm. 
I mean, that's a block. Sad thought, Thief. What else you got? I will cycle. Draws me, draw me something good. Thank you. Next turn, I suppose. Oh. Ah, ah. Now we're talking. Again. Let the face off continue. You know the white deck's like, oh, so close. So close, I can feel it. Come on. Come on. Reed. It's not going to be that easy. It's just not going to be that easy. Interesting. Well, they discard the dog, the a card. They still have the dog, but they don't get to attack this turn, which gives us a little bit of a turn to do some nonsense. Like this. So, which land should we leave open? I think that I think the auto tapper has it right. Ooh, really? We can do it, right? Nope. Plus one, plus one counter. Got him. Can off our own enforcer and replay it. What if we attack with this? Hmm? We can remove a plus one plus one counter from like if they try to use the dog to kill it. Plus we can Agadeems it back. That's feisty. Get a little life. Get just a little life here. Just give me a chance, baby. Yeah, okay. So they sacrifice this. No life. But, check it out. Dead. Dead. All right. If they have an Alcide right here, they can win with protection from black. If they don't have it... Alright, here comes the Sky Maul. Land. Sentinel's eyes. Oh my gosh, did we ninja this? Alright, well, we still can't attack with the Lurus because we have to deal with this thing. That's a card that you can draw. I don't know about you. Kind of happy to see it. <laughs> all right, all right. None of that really solves the problem just yet, though. Our, this thing still has first strike. Let's have didn't say please available. Play this, mill you a bit. Get some of those lands out of there. All right, I still can't attack with this Lurus yet. But a removal spell, and I can kill this thing. We just drew counter spells instead. I I know how this white player is thinking. They're thinking, why don't you just die? Well, I don't know why. <laughs> just not what I do, I guess. 33 cards, still a long way to go on the mill, mill side of things. Where am I, where are the rest of my rogues? Where are they? <laughs> We're halfway through the deck. We've drawn two creatures. 
What is this nonsense? There. All right. Got there. Maybe we see what we draw. Yeah, removal? Because a little bit of life here would feel really nice. So I don't just lose to the Al Seed of Life's Bounty. Would be nice. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I've, I've fired most of the removal in my deck, I think, though. Since we're not drawing rogues, we are drawing removal. You gotta get used to getting roped in the rogue life. People just, they just can't take it. Oh yeah. That's the card. That's the card. The mill machine. That is Merfolk Wind Robber has arrived. <laughs> Opponent has resorted to rope mode. Like like truly. Not ironically. This is this is what it is now. Let's see if we can scry up something nice. Nope, you ain't it. I wonder, do we play Rune Crab? I haven't seen one in two games. Oh! Oh no! I didn't think it would actually happen. I feel kind of bad now. Ooh! Not really afraid of what they can play with a disdainful stroke. They just don't run that many things that that work that way. And they don't have enough mana for Alcide plus Sentinel's Eyes plus Faceless Haven. And it all falls apart. How many drowns? Four. That's right. How many drowns? Four. That's how you do it. That's how you do it with rogues. True rogue gamers understand. All right, we got this first strikey doggo again. Yeah, let's see what we get. Feed me more. Thief, sure. We could just try to power right through him. We can get most things back. This mills a lot too. We're there at 19. One of them will hit. Getting a few more rogues in the graveyard is good for the... Good for the Agademes. How about if they had double Sentinel's Eyes Alcide? Well, we have Mystical Dispute. We can at least put it off for a turn. Redain. Redain. Yeah, we can just counter that. Twelve cards. We block with a Thought Thief, we mill them harder. Do we draw a card for the LOL? I'm doing it. <laughs> Why not? 
Okay, then. Time to hit him with the finishing move. Rock bottom, baby. Ah, uh, we are low on black mana. I think it's still enough, though. We could try to draw it. Try to draw that black mana for the last Thought Thief. What are they at? Six? This is six. Oh my lord. And that's it. Not even going to give you... You don't even get to block. How about that? <laughs> it's quite the number. Four, four, four. Will anybody step up to defeat this evil? Are there none in the land? Oh, this hand. This hand. On the draw? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, I think we'll go for better. Crab. We actually have crab in our deck, guys. I was starting to wonder. So on the draw, didn't say please is a bit slow. Let's just put that away. Make sure we hit our land. Although maybe of one mind means we're going to hit our land. We also have all tapped land here. Yeah, let's do like this. This is not, this is a pretty slow hand. There's a lot of things going wrong here. Let's see what the opponent's up to. Oh! We got a rogue on rogue battle. Maybe. Shh. Gonna, gonna mill my land. You dirty. All right, guys, let's be real about this. It is perfectly acceptable and straight up justified when I play rogues, but when other people do it, they're scum. They're evil. They need to be destroyed. All right, so crab is probably going to get discountered, but we've got two, so let's go for it. Gamer moment. Scry to the top. We gotta get it. We gotta get it. They can't counter me again. They just can't do it. They can't do it again. No way. No way. Not. Nope. No how. Get him. Get him. Ooh, they needed land? Interesting. Very interesting. So, do you think they have another lofty denial? What's holding priority? And they're not killing the crab. Okay, they hit another land. And they thirst it, sure. Risky line. Risky line. No! How dare you! Alright. If they have a Xerath, we can't counter it. And we have no way to kill something for one mana. So do we hold open, didn't say please? Which, they're just not going to play into it if we have open mana anyway, or do we have one mind? I guess we one mind. I mean, the castle actually might be important. But we're going to be down on life and down on plays. I don't think we can afford the castle. Okay. Nice. Nice. That could have been a lot worse. That could have been a lot, lot worse.
We still gotta deal with this little guy. But we can fight now. We've got our opponent to seven cards. Who's got the end to the story? That's the next question. All right, they don't have any more instants. Come here, buddies. Time to go to work. Not a good series of cards right there. Okay. That's another mill. That's another draw. We have access to the Loris, though. They don't. They have another scavenger. Oh, no. Oh, that's huge. All right, we're going to have to draw some, some Dece cards. Where's my Wind Robber, huh? All right, that's a block. There is an Enforcer down there, but no Wind Robber. Of one mind. Taking a huge hit from the scavenger, I think. <laughs> gotcha swamps, bro. Where'd they go? And call the Death Dweller and Brazen Borrower. All right, we, we have to take one huge hit, then we gotta solve this problem. Having a Wind Robber in that spot would have been so sick. But there wasn't even one in the top half of our deck. Oh no! Oh no! They drew Call! They drew Call! Give me that Wind Robber. Give it to me. They will not do it. What is this, eight? Oh my goodness. Still no wind robber. Down to three we go. Still no wind robber. And this has, who has menace? This has death touch, this one has menace. Interesting. All right, let's start with some cards. Some fresh cards for your boy. What is going on? It's just not happening. All right, so are we dead in the air right now? I believe we are. I think we have to attack with the Luris. I think we actually have to attack with the Luris here. And we have to play this anyway. And we may as well play this. I guess we're trying to turbo mill him. Yeah, get that drown in the lock out of here. Okay. We have to have the flyer. There's no getting around that. They might have Heartless Act, so let's save the dispute. Let's see, we want to attack with a rogue. If we do, are we dead on the swing back? We can double block this with Menace. They're probably going to block the Luris, though. And we have to block here. So we're taking four. So we need two blockers. Yeah, we have to just hope that if they have a removal spell, we counter it. But attacking with a rogue is important to get the mill, which that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to mill race them. Pretty good. What do we need to draw? Like Agadim's Awakening would be a draw. Merfolk Wind Robber doesn't save us for another turn. There's the life. Pounded by Nighthawk Scavengers. No into the story, no Wind Robber in the top half of the deck. Literally the top half of the deck. That's just, that's incredible. So now's the time. Now's the time to draw it. 
There's the wind robber. You're late. You're really freaking late to the party. And another thought thief, but that wouldn't save us. It has to be something amazing. It's not. It's not. Oh. is so toxic what kind of an animal what kind of an evil beast what kind of a terrible human would play such a disgusting deck man, i need a bounce back that game was disgusting oh man another another loose hand on the draw but it has removal and if we draw an untapped land it, or any creature for the of one mind it's pretty good but this could just lose are we playing mono white again? God, what's with all the mono white? Oh yeah, it's best of one. We'll keep that. Best of one has mono white. Other formats do not. Right now, anyway. Hmm. Too bad my heartless act isn't gonna get this job done. There's a chance this gets apt, in which case we're really going to want those cards in the yard. But we also want an untapped land next turn. Well, I guess we'd have to draw one either way, so we may as well do this. Let's hold this in case they have Sentinel's Eyes. Make sure you rope every roguey decision, though. Every single time. Nice. Not so nice. And where's your counter go? On the giant killer so it can keep attacking. Well, does mean we can Heartless Act that thing before it gets completely out of hand. Maybe that's what we do next turn? Maybe it's not. I don't know. Okay, untapped land alert. That is good. So the Thieves Guild Enforcer, we do want it to stick around for one turn. So we don't want to block with it because we want to cast of one mind. So we are playing it this turn, but we also want to use the Heartless Act. All right, let's see where they try to attach it. Over there. All right, cool. Oh, we should have let the opponent point their Luminarch Aspirant first. We did not have to respond right there. If they had pointed it onto the um, Usher, it would have been very good for us. A coward. All right. No blocks. I want those cards, and I want them cheap. Nice. Now we're prepared with Drown in the Lock for their next move with the Maul. Oh, yeah. This is a... You, the BM emotes are coming out. Ah! <laughs> All right, what do we destroy? Now I'm going to have to use my brain for the rest of this game because this card is freaking weird. My permanent steal one less, targeting anything costs one more. Oh, they shrug. They give me the shrug. My turn. Let's get them some more. We're, we're shifting into turbo mill mode for sure. Oh, baby, baby, baby. There's your sentinel's eyes. 
Like that shield, what's that shield gonna do? I'll just offer one. I still wanna block the, the giant killer potentially with the other. I don't think that hitting them with damage is gonna matter when they have 16 freaking cards left in their library. Oh, here comes a big flying giant killer. Do we block with a Thought Thief? Let's see, this is one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven out of 15. I think we're close enough to just killing them next turn with some rogues and some lands that I don't need to. Yeah, we'll give that the shrug. <laughs> Are they just dead to damage too? It's pretty close. Let's find out. Two. Two cards. Okay, they have two Sentinel's Eyes, and they go to zero. <laughs> exactly zero. <laughs> oh, that was unnecessarily and stupid, I would say. Not mathing there, that is the ultimate alpha move, because think about it. They could have double equipped two Sentinel's Eyes. And then because of the vigilance, he used the tap ability of the giant killer to get through for lethal. But when you're an absolute alpha, you just don't care. And we're back for the post game, whatever you call it. And this is the part where the regular CGB guy would say this and that about this card over here and that card over there and like moving a little thing around and you know i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell it to you exactly the way it should be told to you the dude won a freaking championship he won the call dime championship with no call dime cards in his main deck arnie Hushenbeck showed you what to do there are hours of him just farming the best players in the world with rogues on video. Shut up and play it. Or figure out how to beat it. And stop being a little wimp. Oh, I don't want to play against rogues. I hate rogues. Dislike button. Dislike button. Dislike button. <laughs> if you think for one moment... We care about your duress. Not only... We're, we're not ambivalent to it. We straight up enjoy it. We dine on your tears. If you want to see Covert Go Blue open all these boxes of Time Spiral, if you want to see CGB, the biggest Time Spiral box opening in Twitch history, go out to the Twitch stream. That's going to be today as you're watching this on Twitch. Starting at the usual time, four o'clock Eastern. Thank you for watching this video. Congratulations to Arnie. As always, CGB will see you in the next video. Me, Covert Go Heal, evil CGB, the evil one. You never know when you'll see me again. When the meta turns dark. When the nerds can't stop complaining. When the salt flows freely like water down a river. That's where you'll find me. I'm not the hero you deserve. I might be what you need right now. You're cool.